All right. Here's just a little quick rundown of how I color correct. Uh, this is with this is without color correction. This is with color correction. All right. So first thing I like to do, just kind of go in order. Start with curves. I'm just gonna delete this. Go to subject, throw in a curve. I'm just gonna turn all this off actually. Just kind of explain what each one does. So curves, curves kind of makes like it brighter and darker. You, you kind of want to make an S out of it. This will brighten the clip up here. Down here we'll darken it. So you kind of want to make an S out of it. And you can uh, kind of already see how it looks better. And then I like to add just a l little hint of saturation. Just kind of makes the gun glow just a little bit more. Pop out the colors. I usually really depends. So I'll go for like 110 to maybe even sometimes 125. 125 max but in this scenario i'm just gonna do 110 next i'll add pop it kind of like sharpens your clip a little bit not too noticeable but to a point and then i'll just i'll do like 30 29 30 ish and then um diffusion diffusion is kind of like glow um kind of makes kind of makes your thing pop a little bit um i did a blue kind of glow so i it's probably going to be in the center uh i dragged mine over to blue because i'm kind of going for a blue theme here and uh i i think the default it's like really high like 30 i crank it i kind of turn it down to like five not just 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 a little hint you don't want too much um, in some scenarios, you're probably not going to want that diffusion, but for what I'm going for, I, I want it. And then I'll add a flare, just a really light flare. It's probably going to be set really high to like 30 ish. You just, just crank that down to like 2.5 ish maybe. And it just kind of adds this really slight RTX kind of look. Um, next you're going to want to add like edge softness. Edge softness kind of makes the. I'll delete it and add it again. It just makes your edges soft, I guess, kind of blurry. But this is this is way too much, obviously. Um, I usually do like what 1.5 ish, just because it, it's way too much. And then I'll um I'll extend the radius to like 1.52. Like this just so it's like all the way out here um you don't need this I, I add a vintage lens it just makes the edges darker too um this is my preset I really don't know what I did I just got it and it looked good and then renoiser it just kind of adds a grainy look to it, it it's not noticeable but it, it, it's there and then chromatic abbreviation I love chromatic abbreviation like sometimes your edit doesn't need it but it just it makes the colors move a bit a bit more and then HLS colors HLS colors is very important um, it kind of contrasts but um, it contrasts like individual colors so what I did here is I went for like a blue theme so I I drag out blue more like right here and same thing with purple and maybe even this you just drag it out a bit more and then I'll kind of want it to be dark too at the same time and uh, you can even cancel out colors like blue and it'll make them gray so uh, yeah let's just it's just a really small rundown of how to color correct uh, honestly, I highly suggest you just mess around with everything.
like mess around with each effect and learn what they do because you know every edit's different and each edit has its own theme so yeah